Hello and welcome to the Music Emotion Recognition GitHub repository. The project deals with capturing emotion for music pieces. There are multiple approaches in solving this problem. One of them is a single label classification problem, in which the classifier picks the most dominant emotion for a particular music piece. Another approach would be a multi-label classification, in which your music piece is tagged with multiple emotions based on timelines or percentages. There might be clustering approaches as well and it's up to you to decide which approach do you want. So before we dive into the repository, I have a lot of resources to share. The first one is the Music Emotion Recognition slide by the National Taiwan University, Homer H. Chan. This is one of the best resources because it will explain you the methodology and the history of how this project has evolved over time. In this repo talks about a categorical approach in which we divide music pieces into groups where each group is a homogeneous representation of an emotion such as sadness, happiness, or boring. If you have ever heard the names such as KKBox, Pandora, Last.fm, then these are one of the applications of music emotion recognition. So one of the basic approaches of machine learning is to have a dataset. Have that dataset manually annotated by an expert so that the model that we are building is a very close representation of the real world. A testing data set is then used to check the accuracy of our model. A lot of confusion about this project is based on music features because many of the users do not understand what they are. The most commonly used features are spectral features which are time based features and temporal features which are frequency based features. If you want to dive into the definition and the maths behind this, then I suggest you take courses on music information retrieval or digital signal processing. I will link their Wikipedia pages in the description section for you to learn more. My project uses the Librosa library. So this library has a lot of options when it comes to signal processing, such as feature extraction. As you can see, we have spectral feature extraction functions over here. So if you understand the math and the logic behind them, you could use the parameters and tune your functions accordingly. I am going to link some Quora questions and Medium blogs so that they explain a little bit of these functions in a better way. Back to the approaches. Another approach is known as the dimensional approach or the Thayer's 2D model. This model divides the emotions on two axes. Arousal which is based on energy levels and valence which is based on positive feelings. And once we have a 2D Cartesian plot, we can plot emotions based on specific angles. Your model will predict a degree and based on that degree we can classify emotions. Genre is set to improve your model's efficiency because it helps the accuracy of your model. So this slide has a lot of information to it. You could go over the 54 slides for more information. Moreover, I'm going to talk about ISMIR or International Society for Music Information Retrieval. Each year they hold conferences where majority of the experts related to music information retrieval gather and share their findings. If you have access to their journal, you can read articles and help enhance your knowledge. This way you understand what has been tried and tested and what the future projects should look like. So back to the repository. First of all, we will be starting off with the feature extraction Python file over here. This is the most important file of them all because it extracts features from your mp3 or your audio files. We have a function called extract feature in which the, one of the argument is the path that means where your audio files are located. I have called this feature, this function from the dataset folder. So that means my audio files are in the dataset folder. As you can see, I am using the same Librosa functions over here to extract features into data frame and then concatenating this data frame with another data frame so that all of the features are extracted into a CSV or a JSON file. The CSV file is for people who are trying to work on structured data. Meanwhile, the JSON file is for people who want to work on unstructured data. Now, if I go back and into the source code folder, I will be seeing a bunch of files. I couldn't share more files because my project was a non-disclosure agreement. So all I could do was share basic KNN classifier code for it with you guys. There are some visualization files over here that talk about scatter plot or strip plots. 
but I'm not going to be going over them because it depends on your approach and how you perceive visualization. The only file that I'm going to be talk talking about is the emotion recognition file over here. This file reads data from your CSV file and then standardizes the values between 0 and 1. After that, we split the data into training and testing data using a 20 and 80% approach. And then we apply a KNN model where the training data is fit into the KNN model and the accuracy is predicted using the testing model. We finally print the values and see what the accuracy of our model is. Other files in this repository have similar code. So this is a very basic version of how you would be solving this problem. Surely you won't be going into some simple approaches. I recommend that you go over the resource files that I share so that you understand what the complexity of the real problem looks like and what approaches you should take in order to solve this problem. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you have any query, feel free to reach out at my LinkedIn or my email account. I'll be sure to reply to you guys and till then, happy solving.